my niece here from Seuss Art, and it's so good to see you. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I've had an incredible week. Um, I'm finishing off the last uh, week of being at this cafe on the Mayo Clinic campus. It's a huge campus, 500 plus acres. After COVID, um, I was the I was the catering chef for this campus. All the big wigs that came, and I would make all their food. Well, that that went away, right? No more banquets. So that was almost two years ago that they sent me to this cafe. And I ended up being their primary production chef was making all their food from scratch. Awesome, I had so much fun. But it was very mundane and very boring. <laughs> so anyway, I'm moving. And so this piece is gonna represent uh, going back to something a little more challenging, a little more non-mundane and a little more up my alley in the food world. I'm going to be entree cooking proteins and beautiful delicious stuff. So let's do this thing. This can be really easy as a part one. This is a part one mediums. So disregard everything I was talking about. I'm just really hooked up about my whole new career here. So <laughs> in the same place I've been working at for oh, almost four years. So whoo, let's do this. Uh, this is about dark going into light, right? Dark going into light. But it's also about medium, right? Medium. So on the list of mediums on our previous video, linseed was also considered a medium. Yes. So this is going to be a very wet layer. So I did talk about fat on wet, right? All right, this is gonna be hugely wet, guys. We are gonna soak this puppy. And the first thing we're gonna do first is we're literally gonna be putting the linseed onto the canvas. So for that, I am gonna grab, um, oh, this is one of my landscape brushes. She's beautiful. And uh, which, I should have one for Sky. Yeah, this one is more for like sky. This one is more for like ground. But um, I think for this, I'm gonna use a bigger one. And these are primarily the two brushes I'll be using on this piece. So this is more for my skies and this guy is more for my, my darks. And so we'll go ahead and uh, because it's a little dry, I've been using a different cleaner and I'm really not happy with this. I don't know what you think about it, but I'm just gonna whack it for a minute. I'm just trying to soften her up. She's a little, little rough, so. I bought a new cleaner. I decided to use a, a citrus uh, cleaner. Gamble had a really good brush cleaner and I was using that for a bit. And then um, I ran out and I went to that one and I'm really not happy with it. It's, my brushes are just not as, as um, but this one is beautiful and it's because I haven't used anything. I just beat the crap out of it and get as much out as I can in a little perknoid. <laughs> All right, so. We're going to go ahead and shoot that linseed oil on there. And I bought a real cheap Tupperware set. And I can use um, all their bits and pieces. I'm using Michelangelo here. And it's going really wet. in here. Oh Lord. And because I'm trying to soften up my brush, I'm really scrubbing. I'm okay with that. This is like one of my favorite brushes. I'm really disappointed <laughs> in myself. But it also has a lot to do with like the frequency. I, I guess I've had a full solid three weeks of just really not coming into paint and that's okay because I've been doing a lot of doodling and I'm focusing on all sorts of things to better myself all right I love how the paper is already telling me 
telling us what we're going to be building. <laughs> so I have a nice little slimy layer. Um, Bob Ross has this little product he likes to call his white... Uh, um, his white goop stuff and I, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna show you some because <laughs> I have some I, I just the, I realized I gotta plug my phone in here because oh, I am uh, literally listening to music while I'm talking I know it's so good so here we go so Bob Ross has his stuff, I, I can't even remember what he called it, uh, but it's liquid white. There it is. Oh, my brush is not really better at all. I'm probably going to have to get a new one. But So I'm going to take what little bit I have left here. It was really not a lot. And I'm going to slap it on here. And linseed oil, like I said, man, that stuff's going to get thick. You could make your own, like, really thick. <laughs> oil paints by just letting them sit in a tub like this with linseed oil for a month or two and then you got something going on. Ah, oh, this smells so good. Alright, I'm just going to slap this on here. It's not going to be very even, but I'm going to give you a little something something. So this, it, it, this is a really bad example of Bob Ross's liquid white because I know that this liquid white I got here is at least two months old. It's a little thicker than it should be, but that's okay. For me, it serves its purpose. Yeah, I'm gonna let that go. I'm gonna give this brush a really good clean. She's so hungry for clean. <laughs> I love her so much, I don't know what happened. Something happened on the way to the farm. Okay. So that's a pretty good thick cover. So starting off cam fit, off the canvas, and then onto the canvas, I'm just giving a real light brush. Swipe, whatever. just to smooth out any imperfections. All right, we're staining now, folks. That's right, we're staining. So get your glove on and uh, let's have some fun. I have some ideas of my stains and uh, so I think I'm gonna go straight up in with those colors. Uh, because I am blending into white, I am not concerned about values and stuff. I'm just staining the canvas. Alright, that is so good. Love that. <laughs> All right. Because I really see something like change my glove. That's fun. So now we take, I don't mind a little, little shit on my hands, it's just when you get too much, it's too much. So now I'm going to kind of rub this right into the canvas.
Hey, that's exactly where I want it. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do some more linseed stuff. <laughs> we're gonna get into that sky thing, and we are going to use some cayenne blue so remember what our palette was this little Tupperware lid so I'm gonna put a little bit of this cayenne blue here this is a Lucas studio really quality stuff good stuff very creamy uh, I'm gonna go a little crazy because I really want to and we're gonna use some of this Gamblin Ultra Marine Violet. So this is definitely a very, very cool blue. Where cayenne is gonna kinda lead you, so how we load our brush is important. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that out there. So if we're looking at our, our background, right? If we're looking at that, we know that these guys need, need a little more love. I'm sorry if I get quiet because it's like you see it and then you do it because it, it's just the seeing right it's values change and then your brain sees something completely different you're like okay I like that <laughs> let's have some fun with this stuff so we have um the Gamlin Ultramarine Violet and I just got a handful of linseed oil from my thumbsies and we have, oh, let me get my lid back on. That's so bad. Lucas's cayenne blue. That's so cool. <laughs> We're going to put some Payne's gray and titanium white. Payne's gray is awesome. Uh, very, it's, it's a cool gray. It's cool black gray. Um, Bob Ross's midnight black is a cool black because it's, it's, bends more on your reds and your your purples and your violets so it's gorgeous for whatever you got going on we got burnt umber here but we don't need her well we're going to be using her real soon here in a second so okay now we got these brushes and i'm, I'm going to use my sky brush and uh, i might need a new one so let's see what i got Yeah. So this is a, a two inch painter's brush. I love them, they're the best things in the world. And uh, she's gonna last a long time. I'm gonna get some better soap or just clean my brushes <laughs> properly at the end of the day. But, oh, before we get going guys, I wanna clean this brush down here. So give me one second, I'll be right back. we're back <laughs> I actually took the time to oh my gosh get a beer and I freaking left it out there ah shit here we go again <laughs> hi my friends welcome back I have kind of been doing this for a few minutes um I did run the reel and realized I was still missing stuff but what you're doing when you do this is you're changing your, your contrast. Just think of it as contrast, light versus dark. All right, so I kind of like this, all right, for our, whatever that is, because it may go away. It all may go away. Ay, 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 so much fun. So we made the cayenne and the uh, ultramarine blue and the paint's great so 
now we're just gonna I have a, a brand new clean brush and I'm gonna put them a little bit in the um and then I'm gonna gonna whack them off on my towel here and I, I think you all can see what I'm doing and I kind of want them dry yeah he's good so now I can soak him <laughs> <laughs> so this don't I'm gonna scare you but don't let me scare you because this is wet on wet all right so you got me on that lots of wet so oh we do want uh, another color in here my bad for umber <laughs> Or actually raw umber. I'm going with the raw umber. No. Oh, we could use the Van Dyke Brown. Yeah, I'm, I'll go with the Van Dyke Brown. It's okay. We can throw a little red on it on that as well. So it's not, it's not gonna hurt nothing. That's a lot. I mean, this the uh, Windsor Newton's paint is very dry. Or maybe I just got unlucky when I bought all these tubes. I don't know. <laughs> but they definitely love linseed oil. <laughs> they will reconstitute their asses. And then I'm gonna. Uh, so I got the Windsor Newton Van Dyke Brown, and I'm gonna toss in just a hairball of. Van Gogh's Cadmium Red Medium. And yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a mix. All right. So, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna do this right here so y'all can see what I'm doing. Both sides coated, I'm going in, Captain. Here's where the fun comes in. Sometimes you gotta take the stuff off the edges because it, it, you kind of get lost. Well, well, I do, a little bit.
loving this. Totally meant to do the sky with that brush. Totally blemished it. Have to start over. <laughs> but I'm alright. You know, happy little um, accidents. And this is wet, guys. This is really, really wet. This is going to be so dry tomorrow, you could just scrape your hand on it. This is like you're thinking about your dark layers underneath. This is not something you want to finish in one sitting. These are your darks. So you can, you can pop light on top of this, right? So one of my favorite things to do is because I already see, I think I'm going to probably have trees here. So I'm going to give some light to that area. I'm going to say Kind of put that stuff in there you know and you know it's there right So that's some fun stuff you can have, like when you're, but that, I think that's more for a part two. It's my bad, my bad, my bad. I'm just, I'll wipe it out. There we go, out, 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 okay. Out. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit more light in here. Can, in your initial layers you can put light and dark and again this is wet this is highly uh, saturated with linseed oil <laughs> so you do you do you when it comes to this stuff man you just totally do you and uh, so uh, I got this really cool color here, phthalo red. I'm going to grab some of this linseed and just, uh, it doesn't want to play and that's okay because it's been, it, it's been underground for so long. I just want to get it out there. I don't want to waste it. You know, it's I'm going to waste it. It's going down. So um, I'm going to grab some more of this color that we mixed. Just kind of go in there. They're like, what are you doing? This is wet on wet, my friends. Have no worries. This is, you wipe this out.
wet. Sorry if I get quiet. <laughs> I'm just having so much fun. But it's like pushing and this is a wet, wet. All of this can change, which is so much fun. Never marry your pieces. Do not marry them. They are, they belong to nobody but your imagination. Just your imagination. You're not selling this. You're not selling it. You're making it. You're, you're creating. That's all you're doing. And that is so much fun. But I swear we've got to get a sky on, man. <laughs> Ever stronger. Uh oh. I'm singing. All right. Great new brown brush. Watch this. I'm going to throw that into the sky because we haven't done the sky yet. And we got that white on there, which is really cool. So I take this white down here. Still, I'm just playing. <laughs> yeah, because I got extra paint on my thingy. I mean, oh, I can wipe all this off at any one time if I don't like where it's going. But I really, I like it. Since I don't have any white, but like technically, down here, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna dip into what's left in this thing. You know, if I need some white, and I do. So I'm just gonna, uh, let's see. You like my paintbrush? Oh, this is the dungeon jack. <laughs> Oh my, that was a ton of fun. <laughs> I really don't know what to say about that because we haven't even done the sky and, and this is just a wet layer that doesn't mean anything. But let's think of it this way, all right? Let's think of this layer as being light that we can take out and find at a later date. That's what I want you to think about my frenzies. This is light that's going to come out at another time. And uh, so I'm going to take this dabber. I'm just going to kind of, uh, I love the texture that this leaves. It, um, I mean, if you, if you look really close, it's like it, it, it's amazing. So I'm just going to pop this in there. Uh, these weeds turned out to be impeccable, impeccable. Love that. Love that. Love that. Uh, guys, we did really good. We, we did really good for a wet layer, a wet layer. Our values are pretty much staying the same. This is definitely very different from that, but we'll make them all happy here in a minute. My biggest thing is I, I like that contrast in values and, and uh, that's just my, that's just me. <laughs> all right, so let's get into the blues. I feel so free. <laughs> I do, I feel so free to create. Let's just keep creating. Um, so for anybody who's who who has been following me uh, for the last nine months, um, 
I did get a coach. And um, I thought, you know, it was an excellent, I'm just gonna put it out there, it was an excellent experience. I'm using ultramarine blue. Titanium white. Um, I think, if I can find it. <laughs> you know what would be really fun though? But we got all this red. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's do it. Let's let's put a glove on. We'll take some of this lemon yellow. <laughs> we'll stain the canvas. That's what we're gonna do. Oh no. Oh, should we do this when we're done? Nah, let's do it now. I don't worry like other people do about that shit. That's so stupid. Why would you even worry about that? I mean, seriously. This is staining your canvas, right? You do this now, and then um, when you put your blue in, it's not going to go all green up on your shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right. That's good. All right. Got the white. All right, my white, titanium white, has got a film on it, so I'm gonna scrape that off. I think there's enough there, so we'll just add some linseed oil here and we're going wet again my friends very wet so I got a puddle of linseed oil here and I'm going in my blue Now, when you start going into your um, painting, just wipe your brush down. Go back into your color. Leave your, leave spaces for cloud. <laughs> How is that? Oh, it's poopy. There you go, poopy be gone. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna get that because I just literally put down a new floor. Um. I don't know how many of you live in Florida, but we have this this thing called Big Lots. Fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. So I can get rolls of like this stuff that you would put on your shelves, I guess. Your your yeah. Um and I So I'm noticing that the dark down here is adding to a, a wonderful cloud transition color. And you like that because what's happening is your clouds are um, harmonizing with um, the ground colors. So that's always good. <laughs> Ew, let's do it. I get into that yellow and I, I come back out, my friends, because I 
Okay, so I'm going to go real light now in between those white parts because I really want to get in there tomorrow with whiter paint. And so just to show you what I mean and why this is so important. All right, you got you have that that blue that you love in your sky, but you know you're going to you're going to want white puffy clouds. And so that's where the magic white that I put down earlier is really going to help me out here because now I can keep these guys And um, like literally be able to go back in there tomorrow and the rest of the week and you see the pressure you apply on your hand and like if you live in Florida like like this year the clouds have been it's just freaking amazing so like this see I can keep doing the layers because I put that white underneath right all right you see how that's happening we we put the color down I'm So, like, I love how this is going, <laughs> and I love that I have a couple of days, because this is mostly all linseed oil, so I'm just going to, I'm going to let that be for a minute, and I'm going to take some of this white down here and plug it in, and then I want to get some sap green. I think that is totally missing from what we're doing. So I got some Windsor Newton sap green. I'm gonna throw it on. Uh, I'm gonna throw it on this thing that we have with all the other colors. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. See that? Just a little bit. And I'm gonna put some linseed oil in there. Yeah. Uh, I'm guessing equal amounts of linseed oil and so I'm gonna grab a different brush this one is for ground that other one I had was for not for ground Again, none of this has to stay. I'm just having fun right now. So this is like ground cover. Who cares? See, when you load both sides, uh, yeah, this is good.
this is fun. So I think I want to get in here with my little scrapey thing. <laughs> I want to make some rocks. So let's do that. And then we'll call this a first layer. And if we don't like it tomorrow when we look at it, we'll, we'll just paint over it. That's the most exciting part, right? So like I'm making little scratches in there and then I'm taking a piece of paper towel and I'm going into a, a color and uh, cause I'm trying to use up these colors that are in these things. This is a Pueblo um, red oxide. Uh, it's pretty much dying. So <laughs> I'm just trying to see if I can't uh, get it out there. Um, dabbing out the damn shit <laughs> is what I'm doing. <laughs> and then you get like the cool stuff like this that happened. It's like you. keep pulling that yellow as far down as you want. It's so cool. It's so cool. I don't even know if that thing will exist tomorrow. What do you think? Nobody knows. We don't know. This is the first layer. <laughs> this is the first do. And I'm going to throw these paints away. So, what would I do if I wanted this to dry tomorrow? I would put more dark down because I want to put light on top of all of this. So, I would put more dark. The sky I'm not worried about. The skies are easy to go over and over and over, but I would definitely uh, want to work on that. So, I'm going to turn this a little bit this way. Uh, hopefully, you can see me a little better. I just want to stay out of your way is all. So uh, for me, um, getting some dark on there is important. So I'm going with the sap green. Um, this paint's gray. Whatever I can get a bit, just a little bit. That's fine. Yep, that's gone. And ultramarine blue. Okay. Mm. With my brush. Gonna add some linseed oil to that, and we're gonna just mix this soup here. 
I uh, oh that sap green really stuck on the one side so I'm going to slap that on. I'm getting my darks on and I see the spots where I like them. Squint. Yep, that's about it right there. Yep, what do you think, peeps? Or just that We got rocks and all sorts of fun shit we can develop. We can put water up in there. I don't know what we're gonna do here yet. It could be just rocks. I like rocks. Rocks are really cool, so Oh, we're just doing this right here to, to, to have fun. See? This, this is nothing. Alright. Nice. Oh, this is going to be a really nice rock face. And I'm very excited about doing rock faces in here. Yes. 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 All right, that is an awesome part one. What do you think, my friendies? <laughs> Let me get my headphones off here. Oh, Ooh, so sorry. Oh my gosh. So, wow. Not bad for a wet coat. That's our wet coat. That is so cool. Look, we have sky. We have, oh my gosh, it could be a village. We could have villages here. We just don't know. It's a wet coat and we had fun and we're not thinking about selling anything. We're just throwing down paint and having fun. Look at that sky. I could not be more happy about a first layer sky than that right there. And I want to thank Bob Cross. Your wet stuff is awesome. All right, my friends. This is Denise from Sea Star saying Ciao, Bella. And I love you, Mommy. She's over 80. What? Bonus. Let's make some rocks while it's wet. Just wipe away where you want uh, to possibly put your clusters. This way you'll have your light values and then you will make it dark based on wherever you decide your light source is coming from. I don't have one yet. And that's uh, what frustrates a lot of art teachers is when their students go into a composition and they don't know what they're doing yet and they don't know where their light source is coming from and so they just, you know, so, um, it could, I can imagine it's frustrating, and because I don't know what I'm doing, I don't care. So I'm just gonna put, um, my rocks are gonna be lit, period. And wherever I decide that the light source is coming from, then, and then I will determine how they look. <laughs> you know, cause uh, I'm pretty sure I got something going on over here, but I don't know yet. So I'm just gonna, kind of lay them out where I think I see them kind of living in a place so <laughs> <laughs> and you know it, it this is uh, just do it why because you can't your paint is wet I like that guy in the background he just looks like he's back there somewhere it's good stuff So I'm gonna 
sure that's a little different from that. This is really coming out to be something fun, guys. I mean, <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that. Of course, they're all fun. I think, wouldn't it be really cool to have just like a little, little pond reflecting the sky right there? But then I would take away it. I don't know. See? That's just it. That's why I can't do first layers. This should just be like... I do a lot in the first layers and that sets I just like to see where my head's going for the next one and I love the wet because it's gonna be so dry tomorrow I'm gonna be able to go in there and just put more wet on it and do this again almost like a glazing kind of sort of thing but not really so when it's wet Play with it and don't be afraid of it. Just play. Because as you move paint off the canvas, you see things differently. You see things differently. turned into like a whole wall of rock. How cool is that? <laughs> you don't know what you're getting. You don't know. Oh, look at that hair. That's cool. You never know when you're getting that either. What I love. Come on, baby. <laughs> Hello. I got you. There you go. Boar's hair, I think, is what they use on those brushes for the house paper. Boar's hair. This is a really good brush. Look at what we're doing here with a paper towel, my friend. It's because it's wet. All right, so this is probably good that I that I continued the video because I need to explain. Um, the wet, the medium. The medium we're using is linseed oil. It's a very wet, very, very, very wet layer. I mean, it's wet. It's very, very wet. Okay, it's wet. You can scrape into it. You can do everything you want into it. It does not dry very quickly, but overnight it will be I know this because my Bentley oil bottle is tacky and sticky. <laughs> this I actually like. It. So the cool thing about wet um, linseed oil is it then becomes uh, this really cool thing that you can go into and say, all right, maybe that's a tree or something, a tree trunk like laying out over the savannah right there.
but the rocks. <laughs> this thing is so cool. I think we just put a whole lot of color in here and that's awesome. So we added some flavor. That's why I said my friends, do not marry what you're working on because it's always good. You're never going to know what you're doing one second to the next. And that's the best part. Woo! Alright. I think for a wet layer I'm gonna say this again of course I keep saying this but I, I got some hard lines I just want to clean out here this is gonna be underneath and we got a good dark and I love that this is there because this will be in the back see so these come up like this and they'll be in the back this uh, we're probably going to be brightening this up and grill. Um, these brushes are in normal. And just gonna say it is what it is because I could literally do this all night and I have got to go to bed my new job starts um, or my new hours start tomorrow and I have to Saturday and Sunday I am there at 4 a.m. which means I need to get up at 2 30 which means I need to get my ass in bed <laughs> plain and simple just putting it out there being real oh my gosh I'm gonna have soup any more cleaner I certainly have enough cleaners to last me two days, which is what, Monday, uh, oh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, uh, four days, yes, I'm good. <laughs> so, I was just playing, and now I know that my baby's going to sleep, I want to go back in and get my rocks, because <laughs> I literally was just playing, so. Of course, you know, all that that stuff can, um, all that foliage can definitely be created at another time. But I really do want to know where rocks are going. I want to get my rocks on! <laughs> anyway, I had a really great weekend. Um, 
I met some new art people that are, I'm guessing, a little cray cray like me. I definitely know one of them is definitely up my cray cray alley. And that's going to make a whole bunch of this a lot more fun. <laughs> Especially with my, oh, everything. Anyway, anyway. All right, guys, I love you again, Mommy. I love you, my friends. This is Denise saying, ciao, bella.